Hello, my name is Ben. Today I would like to show you how to start a park region on the 2020 to 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. You need to start a park region if you do have a check engine light for after treatment issues or your truck is asking for the regeneration. Sometimes if you are ignoring regeneration, your truck will reduce the speed limit to the 55 miles per hour and will reduce its power. And if you will continue ignoring and not service the truck and not do the park region, it will completely shut off your truck and you will have only 5 miles per hour speed possible. So to avoid that, you need to do a park region on your truck. I do recommend doing park region every time when you have a spare minute. If you are waiting in a truck stop, you do have time. Try to start a park region, it will not hurt your engine, it will only make it better running. So how to do the region? Okay. Let's go. First of all, start your truck. Make sure your water temperature is above 180 psi. I just started this truck. It is cold engine. It will not allow me to do region. Mm. You as a driver should not do region on a cold engine also because the region will simply not be allowed. Okay, so let, let's pretend we do have above 180 Fahrenheit water temperature. We go to the truck symbol. Let's say to the main page of the truck symbol, we go down, diesel particulate filter tab. So now this truck has a suit level good, it's green, but if it builds up, it goes to yellow or red, you immediately need to do the region. You don't need to wait or whatever, you need to do it ASAP if possible. Because as long as more as you wait, the more troubles you might get. Okay, to start the region, you simply press OK button as it's required on the dashboard. You press OK button, you need to confirm it. I'm pressing OK one more time. Now it says manual region not allowed. As I mentioned, it has to be above 180 Fahrenheit in water temperature. Okay, so if your region started, it should last between 15 to 45 minutes. If it takes longer, it means your truck might have a trouble or maybe your system is clogged up. We did had situations when driver was shutting down on the road with like 5 miles per hour D-rate mode and they cannot drive. Only doing like couple regions in a row fix the problem. Sometimes it completely removes the check engine light from the dashboard and you will have no more issues. After all lights are gone from the dashboard, you don't even need a service no more if you have no more lights. It is normal if you do have a high exhaust temperature light on the dashboard, but it will go out after just several minutes of running the truck or having the truck off and letting it to cool down. I hope this video helped you to save money and you avoided the dealer, you didn't need help from them. And so as I mentioned, if you have no more lights on the airport, you're good to go. Thank you.